as the Blue Devils upset North Green Volleyball earlier in the week. Football team trying to do the same. Not if Logan Thor has anything to say about it. Third and goal finds Aiden Hall to put the Wildcats up 7-0 in the first quarter. Springfield answers. Minute to play in that opening quarter. Brandon Langston. What'd you call him, Mike Jewell? A shining star from 19 yards out. He is just getting started. Absolutely untouched on his second one. 53-yard score. Springfield up 17-10. Five and a half to play in the game. Aiden Schmidt the handoff. Wildcat bounces to the outside and Schmidt gets into the end zone. Wildcats down at just one. You guys talked about it all game long. Uh -oh. Alex Casey on the PAT. You jinxed him. Not his uh, fault. Not it his is blocked. Fault 75 seconds left though. Northview with a chance. Thor dropping the hammer. Mm. Cody Connor. What a diving grab. That would be your game winner. Wildcats win the thriller 23-17 for Northview on the road. We had Guys step up and uh, made a couple catches. Had a guy that stepped in and had a couple injuries, so we those guys stepped in. And we just kind of we kind of stayed true to the plan and tried to execute, and we did. So that was a positive thing for our kids. I'm really proud for them and what they did. What's well, big is four in a row for us. So now it, it gets through. We have one more game uh, against BG next week, and we'll get ready. To that I'll start. I'll enjoy it tonight, but then we'll start and get ready for that uh, tomorrow. But uh, it's really big for our program because now it solidifies us at four and two, and now it puts us up in the rankings with all the playoff stuff and all those type of things. So it's really a positive thing for our kids. With more on this game, we turn to Mason Lowry and Mark Gibson. Well, I think the big key in this one, the effort of the Northview defense in the second half. Brandon Langston tore them apart before halftime. It felt like the Blue Devils never got anything going at all offensively in the second half. They really didn't, and I give a lot of credit to Coach France. My former defensive coordinator at Maumee did a magnificent job making some adjustments at halftime and really shutting down the Springfield running game in the second half. Yeah, it wasn't just the Northview defense, though, because offensively they needed Aiden Schmidt and Logan Thor, the quarterback, to step up after halftime, and they did. They really did, and those two players on the ground and also through the air at the end, this made it the game of the week. A nail biter all the way down. I was uh, uh, really pleased to be a part of this thing because coming into the game, we really weren't sure what we were going to see, but this was a game to watch for sure because of the ending, big plays, but unfortunately, we also saw a lot of mistakes. So we're going to have to clean that up, Springfield, as we go forward and learn how to win a ball game. Yeah, Jerry Bell, if you talk to him, Springfield's head coach now in his second year, he talks a lot about building a culture here. And sometimes once you've got that culture built, and it certainly seems that they're headed in the right direction, the wins don't come as quickly as you might like. They don't, and they're a young football team, so they're going to learn from this. Last two weeks was a heartbreak for them, but they're going to learn. They're going to get better as they go on, and, and we wish them well. And, and I think they have the talent to do just that. Glad you mentioned that heartbreak because Springfield now 0-5, three losses by a possession or less to open Northern Lakes League play, it might be kind of difficult to stay positive going forward, but if Coach Bell is anything, he's a positive guy. Well, he's got a lot of experience, and, and he's been through the situations like this, and he knew this wasn't going to be real easy, especially with a young team. It's up to the coaches to make sure that they keep the momentum going throughout the week of practice, keep their enthusiasm up, and pretty soon they're going to get one of those wins. Northview, they shouldn't have much of an issue keeping their enthusiasm up. Their fourth consecutive win, a nail-biter on the road here at Springfield.